Uh, have you guys watched that Flat Earth documentary on Netflix yet? Oh, no. No, and no I didn't. Literally, I was watching it before bed last night. There's two, two people that I want to point out in particular. One is this dude who's like partly at the center of the YouTube side of the Flat Earth thing. Going mm -hmm. like, literally, everybody I tell about Flat Earth starts as a, se a skeptic, and then they look into it, and they're converted. I, I don't even have to do any work. And then they showed his video to somebody that works at Caltech, uh, and she literally just, like, Googled what he said in the video and did an experiment herself. He's like, <laughs> they never fly direct over the South Atlantic Ocean from South oh, America. God. Why would they do that unless, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and then she went well, to, like, flighttracker.com. And then she's just like, look at these. They're they're flying over like <laughs> literally a very I, that claim was like verifiably false in like less than thirty seconds. But then there was another dude where I swear to you, I thought it was uh I thought that I'd veered into Christopher Guest mockumentary territory. The way they introduce this guy is he's got a golf ball and two like hammers, okay? And uh -huh. he's he's juggling the golf ball between the hammers at a pace that I can only describe as like Herculean. So the golf, <laughs> he's just going tuck, 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 tuck. and then the whole time that he's going tuck, 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 he's, he's reciting every element on the periodic table in alphabetical order. So he's oh. going aluminum, boron, blah, 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 beryllium, blah, carbon, blah, it, like all Come the on. way, all the way to the <laughs> end. It's insane. So you're like, man, this guy's a fucking genius. And then they show a video of him in a Starbucks that he took on his own phone, where he and he's bashing his head with no, both hammers. No, he <laughs> happens to meet uh, a NASA employee, and then he goes like, "Hey, so uh, why'd you waste your life lying to the American people?" And the guy goes, <laughs> "Excuse me, son." And then the next cut is him being like, "Well, I got kicked out of the Starbucks for asking questions," and then. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'd, I'd watch that. That sounds wonderful. I, I had to turn it off like halfway through because I was falling asleep due to the <laughs> due to what time it was. But man, I was That's loving some it. That's good stuff. I still, even after watching it, I don't understand that. Here's the the flat Earth question I have for you: If you are yeah. a flat Earther, the crust don't line up. Uh, <laughs> why? Why is NASA lying to you? I just can't get Illuminati, dude. I, the, so they can sell plane tickets for more exuberant prices or something. I don't know. The so only... we can pretend to be ahead of everyone else. But I actually do, th though. This is the other because the thing that I have said forever is that the, it's the easiest thing to refute flat Earth by looking to the east, and if you can't see China. The Earth's not flat. Yeah, they, they, that's what those. the dude did. He, he was like, uh, so here's the thing. Here's why the scientists are losing in the flat Earth debate. And I was like, eh, I take a lot of <laughs> issue with just about every word you just use there. Uh, he's like, the scientists, they just hit you with a bunch of math. I take you down to the beach and I go, look at that. That's the Space Needle. How could you be able to see the Space Needle? The curvature oh of the Earth God. should be such that you should only be able to see, like, the top of the building oh, instead of the... Oh, that is so fucking dumb, dude. But I still, at the end of the day, I just don't understand what NASA gets for lying to you. And I I swear that I think you're right. That at the end of the day, it's just like, well, if they can get you... They think if they can get you to believe that the Earth is round, that's like an instrument of control. That right. Now that, now that you'll believe them on that, you'll believe them on anything. Which is like a, <laughs> just an incoherent argument. I used to like look at this flat Earth stuff and be like, oh, you know, this is this is like... It's harmless and funny, and these people are stupid. You know, whatever. Yeah. But, like, I'm looking at this, and now it's like, all right, we got, like, measles outbreaks everywhere yep. in the fucking world. Yeah. Like, this is, like, like, it's not Flat Earther's fault, but this kind of, like, but what if, though, ideology is fucking us in the ass? Like, yeah. Like, I don't know, but, like, what if I just watch this YouTube video? Just, you know, maybe the scientists are wrong. Yep. Let's let me have yeah. this guy on YouTube tell me about why. And, and you know, that's why, like, uh, you know, they're... There's that father in Vancouver who's the center of the measles outbreak. And then, like, on, on my Sunday stream, a lot of the tweets regarding it were like, hey, we were all pro-vax, but this is a time for civility. We should be, like, nice... 
to this guy and be understanding of the. And I was like, fuck that, dude. This is a name yeah. and shame situation. <laughs> so if you have like a five year old kid, you're like, oh, I don't want to be that guy in 2029. Fucking, you're getting the MMR shot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's such a weird situation, right? Because. You told everybody when we were all kids that your voice is important and it matters and you can't have a wrong opinion. Yeah. But that now was, here we are. That was a so, big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> we, so. we, taught, we taught our children that basically all opinions are equally valid as long as you have reasons for them that you think are good. And now yeah. you got Jenny McCarthy, the host of MTV's House Party, going up against, you know, 15 million doctors. <laughs> or, you know what? Fuck even that, dude. You have shows like Dr. Oz or The Doctors on TV that are just pitching snake oil out into the audience. They're basically showering them in it. And uh, and people are eating it up. Dude, I'm the other reason I was mad is because in the article, the dude was like, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. We're just cautious. <laughs> like, well. Oh my god. So they, they're Pascal's it, well, wagering it vaccinations? They didn't make the decision to not vaccinate their child. They just didn't make the decision to vaccinate them. Because the jury was out, they didn't say, you're not getting vaccinated. They just said, eh, not today, forever. We should also teach in schools that inaction is also an action. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Yes, Getty Lee. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Boy. I want to be clear as well. I wasn't blaming the younger generation. I'm blaming the generation that educated us. Yeah. I think it's largely, like, parents our age. My mom had me fucking vaccinated to the brim. I am full <laughs> of antibodies right now. Yeah. No, I, like, I me disagree too. with a lot of what my parents think and believe in, but I have a lot of respect for them for teaching me to not be a fucking idiot. I learned that on my own. Dude, my mom, really helpful. I mean, force is not the right word, but she basically forced me to get vaccinated before I went to teach English in Korea. I was 21. She was like, she looked up online, like, you know, recommended vaccines for South Korea. And then one day she was like, hey, you want to get some lunch? And then, uh, you know, I got in the car to get some lunch. And she's like, we're just going to swing by the public health clinic and get, get your Korea vaccinations. And, you know, I was just <laughs> like, all right, that's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> stick me. I literally do not care. <laughs> I will. I do hate being stuck. If I, I don't look stage. at it, then I'm fine. Like, I can just. I, that is my strategy. I look, I look away. I don't look, and I'm just like, just do it, yep. get it over with. I, I'm going to want to be dead for about three seconds, but then I'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, I, I do I need to a, point out we did get lunch afterwards. <laughs> it when was, I was a they, child that ripped uh, the entire top of a table off trying to <laughs> stop from getting a shot. Like, you know, like the, the, the know. top layer of it? <laughs> oh my god. I just <laughs> I was, I was latched onto it like a fucking sloth or something. <laughs> it's so good. I'm with Justin. Like, when I give blood. Uh, like, they put the little cloth over where the needle goes in, and, uh, you know, sometimes I'll, like, move the cloth. Just, it's, I'm not, like, morbidly fascinated. I'm just like, it doesn't bother me. It's kind of interesting to see it. And they come over, and they, like, cover it up, and they're like, yo, bro, keep it on the DL. <laughs> Other people are going to freak out if they see that. God, I had a fucking mole removed once, and I swear the doctor wanted to show it to me. And, like... I didn't know this is how moles were removed. Motherfucker oh, froze had it like, off. No, motherfucker had like an apple core. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. he stuck Dude, that shit like a half a inch prank. in and twisted it and pulled out a chunk. Oh, that's what I had. And he wanted to show me, and I was like, "You get that fucking shit away from me! That was inside <laughs> of me." Dude, I went. <sighs> if I got I was... a mole checked last week. Oh, okay. And he looked at it and goes, "Oh, I think that's a cyst." You're right. Okay, and I was like, "Dude, that mole's been on me for fucking ever. Like, <laughs> I it's behind my ear, so I can't really look at it easily." Yeah, and he, for him to think it's a cyst, I am fucking scared. Well, dude, have you ever seen the? I'm sure you have the the doctor pimple popper stuff where they're like, you know, seventy year old man comes in with white head he's had since the seventies, and then like 
<laughs> she squeezes it, and I mean, it's gross. So you might want to mm, just not hear it's it. It's very like, gross. But yeah. it's also nice. incredible that like she squeezes it, and it's just like four decades of ooze <gasps> comes out of it. And then she, yeah. you know, I'm gonna actually. I, she, I like, think I'll like, then she it. just like seals it up. I don't Probably want has it. a smell to it. See, well, Jess okay. loves that shit. I cannot do it. I can't. That's... I I do not understand people that that can enjoy. I I fucking it makes my skin crawl. It makes my organs crawl, and it makes yeah. my stomach <laughs> want to be on the outside. It is. <laughs> yeah, actually, Jess just said, "Ah, so Ryan is as weird as me." Good. Yeah, I mean, I I I find it. Uh, I wouldn't say satisfying, but it's kind of like therapeutic to watch sometimes, if that makes sense. Dude, I yes. saw the fucking sc- like I I, the, I had to go to the dermatologist all the time because I got a lot of moles. They're all like none of them are crazy, but I just got a lot of them. So like every time I'd be like, oh, this one's looking a little weird. Let's go check the dermatologist, and he'd look at it and be like, yeah, it's got a spot in it. We gotta take it out every time. Every time he's like, oh, well, you know, it's probably fine, but we gotta take it out. Let's just be safe. And I'm like, you, you fucking say so, doc. <laughs> and I've got like. I don't know, seven or eight spots all over, like one on my stomach, on my face, on my back, or he just fucking put a thing inside of me and pulled out a chunk of, of me. And <laughs> every time I look at it, like there's just scars everywhere. It's like, God, it's awful, dude. dude. Throw it on the Barbie, skewer it. Every time Jess comes over, she's just, she's prodding around to find spots that she can tear off of my body. And <laughs> she, she legit like like there's there's stuff that she found that I was just like, oh, see, yeah, that's an ingrown hair. Like, really? I've had that bump for like ten years. Yeah, man. Picks that's the one the thing shit. I actually do not get grossed out by is ingrown hairs. It's just like you grab that shit and you yank it, and it's like pulling a bandaid. It's just you're done. Mm. Watching NL type my pussy and shit. <laughs> well, it's Austin, it's, not, it's Austin's fault because he said. My neck, uh-huh. my back, and then after that, you gotta say my <laughs> pussy and my pussy. crack. Pussy and my crack. Yeah, I just saw the pussy and that was moving so fast. <laughs> well, dude, I had like I had my nut operated on. You know, oh, back yeah. in like uh, 2000, 2005, I guess. And after I had the operation, I was like, I want to see what you took out down there. And then he was like. <laughs> It's not really like that. We just kind of like, you know, drained this thing and then sealed you back up. And I was a little disappointed because I was like, I've been carrying around this tangerine sized nut for like five years. And then there's not even <laughs> something like yeah, I could look at my own, the it's thing like that I tonsils. defeated. <laughs> yeah, was that's it what it, tangerine size? It, might, it was like lemon sized. Holy that's pretty shit. big. Yeah. Jesus. I got like double, like a, a doubled up grape per <laughs> one, I would say. I don't. Like a juicy grape, maybe. This is not like new we, information. Like lemon? I'll, I'll tell you, basically, like, dude, it's like the most harrowing moment of my uh, teenage life. You know, I was like 16 years old, and, yeah. you know, I had known my nut was too big for a while. But I was, <laughs> but it's, people are like, how do you not notice it? Well, when you, it's like a little tear in, like, your abdominal wall or something, and then it just slowly fills up so just like a oh like a hand cyst from a leak yeah yeah, exactly so then like after uh you know like a year it grows from a normal nut to like the size of a lemon and one day you just go down you look down and you're like that's too big that's not right (laughs) so i was like in tears because i had to tell my mom at the age of 16 i was like hey mom one of my nuts is too big (laughs) and then she's like we're gonna like that's a real big problem so we're gonna go to the you know the after hours Not clinic. The and I swear <laughs> to God, we went to the after hours clinic, and the the doctor was like, "Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's anything to worry about." And he took a flashlight and he just held it up against the sack, and he's like, "Yeah, it's like clear fluid, so you know, like you're good to go, but you're gonna have to get it drained." <laughs> Technology these days. Can I uh, tell you a nut story? Oh, please do. Oh, please, yeah. Tell I don't me know if I've ever told it on here before. Oh. oh. But, uh, hey, how's it going? When I was younger, I had to go to an endocrinologist. Right? Yeah. Uh, okay. And he had what looked like a necklace of anal beads. <laughs> oh! Went from smaller to bigger. And he had to, like, measure my balls to this weird ball necklace. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it stuck with me my whole life. <laughs> did he have... Did, did Can have I order one of those? <laughs> I, 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 would, I would say it was there. It was, my nut was probably, like, walnut. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, w- I mean, I was gonna say earlier, like I'm I'm sitting with a couple of walnuts down there. Is all I'm saying. I don't know how mu- how much do they range in size? 
Dude, I haven't seen a lot of nuts. Those balls on his ball necklace got real big. Dude, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's the measuring necklace. This, this uh, is Amazon. It's probably going too far. But I got one that's like a, let's describe it as like a big grape. <laughs> and then the other one is that's like, rap name. <laughs> I found it. The other one is like, it's larger for sure. I would say it's like a small egg. Oh, <laughs> so they're just in one person. There can be variation. I got like a couple. Yeah, there it is. Stuff. You have to get that <laughs> thing drained again. There's Dude, the they, they did tell me like you might have to get it drained like when you're older. And then, you know, it's kind of just been an egg for like 15 years. So I'm like, Dude, yeah, it's not that bad. Justin, you should <laughs> buy. Oh, God, it's $80. You should, <laughs> so you should buy one of those ones. and just just wear it. Just wear it around your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> like, walk around. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You know, dangle, it, dangle it in front of guys' crotches and just like look at it. I should have gotten the second <laughs> one filled up. I can't oh, believe yeah, it. Been a lot better. Yeah, the urologist was like, "Yeah, we can drain that." And my dumb ass didn't even think like, "Can you just this pump the other one up?" <laughs> you just put some milk in there. It's basically the same thing, right? South Park situation going on. Dude, okay. So let, me, then. let me let me frighten you a little bit. Maybe one is egg size because it needs to get drained, but you are not a young lad anymore, and so it would be lemon sized on sixteen year old Ryan. But it's it's like uh, fluid. It's not gum. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it fills up with with nut, you know, and then it's got to be drained like that. Like he didn't drain it by giving me a gentleman's handy, an off course gentleman's handy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he cut into my scrotum and then, you know, I don't know, did some, did some stuff with some tools. And we fucked later, but that was just because we had <laughs> chemistry. Yeah. Chad's saying, like, what would happen if they drained the wrong nut? I don't know, if you've never had surgery, this is very, like, it's like going to a butcher shop. When I went... Oh, God, I, don't well, call it that! When I was they put in the, the label on it, like, yeah. not this one. Well, when I was in the waiting room, like the doctor came in and he's like, "Yeah, which nut is it?" And I was like, "This one." And then he wrote on my leg with a marker and went, like with a you, to mark it. Spread? Did you like spread eagle or like this one? <laughs> you can slap the gauze down. I was a little apprehensive at the time. By the way, can't they this... swap places though? Like, are they always like they kind of? I move think. Around? They would know when they looked at it as well. <laughs> they like tape one to the side. <laughs> a terrible name for a king. Dairy or fucking Dave. I just realized it's called Dairy Queen. Queen. Yep. <laughs> oh, I get it. Clever girl. Ah, I understand the joke. Queen. It's Burger King. Dairy yeah. Queen. Gotcha. And you guys started making me think of all my my needle stories. Are you are you oh, pro needle, yeah, neutral I, needle, I or anti needle? Hard, I have a phobia. Oh, like I, like I I know they don't bother me, but like I get like incredible anxiety yeah, when yeah. I walk around them. The first time I went to, uh, or not the first first time I ever had like an issue with it, I was getting uh, what's the shot that they put like under your skin and they make the little bubble? Is that is that like TB what or is that isn't that like a tetanus oh, shot or? I have no idea. I don't remember which one it was, one but like, when you they put the needle in, chicken. and then I was like. I was like, oh, okay. They had me standing up. I was probably like 12 or something, 13 maybe, a doctor's office. I got it, and then I felt like this warm rush. Yeah. Just like. Mm. I think they might have used my, the wrong needle. My right arm, and I was like, did they get it? Did they get it in the, the vein? <laughs> like, why am I feeling this? Next thing I know, um, I'm riding on the back of a semi truck in a tunnel. <laughs> what? And what? I'm like, and I'm like, the fuck? And then I woke up. <laughs> and I was under the the table with my neck over like a wooden bar. Dude, fucking delete Apparently. this vod. This is anti vaxxer fuel right here. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I fainted and like smashed my head on the doctor's on like the table, like the the bench or whatever that you sit on, right? And then like my neck was over the bar underneath. I had like she fainted and had a dream in like five seconds that I was out. Good lord, dude, they were so terrified. Yeah, you, they, they just saw a kid million dollar baby himself. <laughs> they were <They're> all terrified. <laughs> the three ingredients in the worst smoothie. The three ingredients Did I in the worst smoothie ever. Sorry, my pussy in my crack or nut butt in mud. 
It's only two bits? ingredients. I didn't have time to write because I was telling the, the story about nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's actually bits of mutt. It's not uh, <laughs> melted. My I had to get this like anti rash shot or something. I don't know what it was for, but like it it had to go in the ass, like in right. the in the butt. Okay. Understood. Okay. I don't know why, but they were yes. like, so yeah, the way this shot works has to go in your butt cheek. And I was like, okay. Classic and doctors. That shit. Oh, cortisone, I think. That, that's what it was, yeah. Mm, and uh... that shit hurt. Like, I, I was, like, just getting over, like, needles at the time. Like, I can do this. And then that, it's like, if you feel the needle go in. You're like, all right, the normal needle pain. And then they inject it, and it's, like, a fuck ton of fluid. Oh, is it one of those yeah. super injectors that's, like, yeah, it's I don't like know, as thick as a quarter? Shit, oh, it's like someone needles, punching. Yeah. Turkey baster. It's yeah. like <laughs> someone punching the inside of your butt. Like if someone got their fist in there <laughs> and somehow got enough force to do a full punch. <laughs> it is awful. A dangerous thing to do while driving. Drive or Mary Poppins? Yeah, Cobalt? <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> I love the I love the idea of the doctor walking with a big old like syringe just going, it's got to go in the ass. <laughs> it really was. Yeah. I'm in I an ass sort it. of mood today. Uh, do we have any doctors in chat? Why does a cortisone shot got to go in the butt? Probably Let's big go. Meat, big meat. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I don't know, man. Meat. Dude, the, the, the last couple times I've taken needles, I have this doctor. <laughs> what she does is she'll like, she'll like pinch your skin and jiggle it around while she puts the needle in. You don't feel a thing. You feel nothing. Yeah. Although, if she's putting it on your butt cheeks, that would probably be pretty weird if she starts jiggling your butt around as she pops <laughs> a needle in there. Chat says it was a prank. No, they just gave me the gay <laughs> shot, dude. <laughs> An That's awkward, an awkward Surrender thing to hear liquid. from the person pooping in the stall next to you. Prayer, or it looks like you're about a 20 on the ball meter By the way, a 20 is huge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I was at four. Yo! 20 is, 20, is the, 20 is the number two. I think. Yeah. 25 was the biggest. <laughs> it's a, lo a logarithmic scale, so. <laughs> it's like... God, I had to get a huge injection in my neck once. Yeah, that's oh. awful. Tell me if this is like a, a generalization, because like you have tattoos, so I would assume oh. that that kind of process doesn't bother you as much. No, well, and I've also like I don't. I've always been a freak who likes to watch that's when I get right. shots or get blood drawn. I just stay yeah, I know what you're talking time. about, buddy. Oh, <laughs> but no, tattoos they they don't bother me at all. Yeah, my uncle. Right. Uh, I feel bad for him now, but as a teenager, I had like no sympathy. He just has, you know, it sounds like something similar to what you have, Corey, where, like, oh, he, he, he's, like, a blue-collar sort of guy, um, and, you know, he he works at a physical job, but if he sees blood or has a, a needle, he faints, like, literally every time. Mm. Don't look at it. I didn't even see the last needle I got stuck with. I just saw the big blood vial afterwards. <laughs> I wonder why that happens, like, the fainting thing. Yeah, I don't know. Because the human I'm, brain is insane. Yeah. yeah. Faints when she gets blood drawn. Really? She has to, like, trick her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, uh, she's, she has, like, an eye thing. She's incapable of putting in her own uh, eye drops because she'll blink oh, every time. Yeah. So yeah. I have to trick her into, like, mm. she'll be like, okay, I want to get the eye drops put in. So she, like, lays down and holds her eyes open. But then if she knows that I'm about to do it, she can't keep her eyes open. So I got to just be like, Psh! <laughs> and we're both <laughs> laughing. We gotta, we gotta do it in the corner. Yeah, no, just do, it take it a step further. Like she's just streaming and just walk up and be like, oh, psst. <laughs> you can just, just in the tear duct there. No, what you got it. right in the middle of Tetris 99. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to trick her, just like call out from across the apartment and you got a super soaker filled with uh, <laughs> <laughs> the juice. Hey, Kate! Oh, <laughs> Get some. But it's it's hard because we're both laughing the whole time too. But then we're also like she's anxious and I'm mad. We can't... Dude, I have an, a thing like that as well where I went to the eye doctor once and they you know that test where they puff? Oh yeah, yeah. They're like just keep your eye open. And I was like, like guys, I I can't. Like literally, I blink every time. And then I'm like holding my eye open. Yeah. Like holding my eyelids open and I still blink. Like it just it's just like a reaction. She's like, just get up. Like, What's up, Baphomet? Oh, you, you mean the? Did you say the puff thing at the? So, yeah, the I, yeah. I did the same thing. They just wouldn't. I couldn't yeah. do it. So they were just like, "All right, we were not doing this test." Yeah, like, okay, Baphomet, maybe. You I was like, "Why? Glaucoma. Why the fuck did you even start? Like, yeah, who, exactly. It's clearly not necessary." Fine, have glaucoma then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, okay, whatever. 
It's old. It's an old test anyway. I'm very glad that I don't have eye problems because I could not do contacts. Like if I had to pull, put my finger up to my eye and put something in there, mm -mm, it wouldn't happen. Dude, glasses aren't that bad. Yeah. You do. Yeah. After a week, you don't even see them. The best way to tell if someone is dead: fuck them, or if they, if they play auto chess on stream. <laughs> so does that? It's like fuck him. Like don't even worry about it. He's dead, dude. It's not like a command. <laughs> I don't know. Neither <laughs> all. That's the most accurate place to get the pulse. <laughs> Let's take action. All right, right Ted Bundy. <laughs> I think you might get your own pulse a little bit there. <laughs> I watched the whole documentary on Ted Bundy. Dude, the, the Bundy tapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have three oh, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, had... Damn it! Fuck them, guys. What the hell? <laughs> I also one year I had the bright idea next, when I was working in the kindergarten, uh, obviously, to dress up as a zombie else. for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I bought white contacts, and I spent like an hour and a half trying to put them in my eye, and I was just like, "You got it! You got it!" No, oh. in my eye closed, <laughs> like sitting there like forever, and then like I finally got one in, and then I blinked, and it went behind my eyeball. Ah! Oh. Ah, ah. So is it just in your brain ah. now? No, no, it came out eventually, but I was like freaking out. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Why do we use contacts? I always had a fear of contacts, and now it's just it's <laughs> Dude, it, like 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 that. It just went. That's behind. horrifying. Like, oh, that Where'd it go? Is ridiculous. What's the difference? <laughs> I'm just gonna type auto chess into every prompt from now on. <laughs> Something that's been hiding in the background of every Friends episodes. Wait, uh, what? <laughs> you alright? No, I was reading it and then, I don't know, the first answer was the dark one. <laughs> no, it scrambled my brain. It's weird because you, you, you edited the sentence, but it still was the same. That was like the time we were it's playing, fun. and you read cafeteria instead of like cinema or something. I can't remember which one it was. Let me start by saying I don't actually think I have ADHD, but I think I do. My mind does wander very quickly, so sometimes I'll be in the middle of like reading the prompt, and I'm like, I don't care about this shit anymore. Let's think <laughs> about something that. else. Oh, like, yeah. Centerfold. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I do that while I'm. I do that pretty often seven. too. I do that while I read. Oh, mm. then you got to read the page again. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, really that's bad. the worst. You know you're really drunk when you wake up on the back of a moving semi, or you find yourself attractive. <laughs> that second one's too real, dude. <laughs> very, very real. Actually, yeah. I don't know if there's enough alcohol on planet Earth to make that work, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Try taking oh. your glasses off. <laughs> very attractive blob of color. You might, yeah, you might be just like legally blind if you're drunk and have your glasses off. Oh no, I'm legally blind just without the glasses, dude. It's real bad. <laughs> Have you heard of LASIK surgery? I I can't do that because apparently they have to fucking cut your eye like oh you know, with yeah. a laser. laser. No, I don't know if they still have to do it, but they literally have to cut the top part of the eye and peel it back. It's oh, fine. You, can, you can choose. Wolf's getting that done right now. Like today, like, I just I and you, but obviously you have to be awake and your eye has to be open. You have to be watching a fucking knife come down at you. Well, you don't oh, see. <laughs> Do they know, blind you? I don't know. When my dad I, 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 had it done. Oh, well, actually, the first one. I'm not sure how it works. When my dad had it done, he said they they give you like um, they drop like a I don't want to call it a tranquilizer, like a sedative into your eye. Well, yeah, you can't feel yeah. it, obviously. But yeah, but then like you just don't close your lid, and they there was no knife involved. He all he said like the laser actually like takes off the top layer of the the skin on the eye, and then they just go like, Meep, and then they're like, you're good. Like, wow, that it was easy. It's, and then 12 changed. hours later, you're like, ah! <laughs> I will say, everyone I know who got LASIK, like, swears by it. Dude, they how bad could it be? They have, like, they do it in the mall. <laughs> it's not like you're gonna, like, next yeah. to the Cinnabon, there's gonna be, like, a arcane dungeon. Dude, I still think it's weird up here in, in like, I don't know if it's just BC, but, like, they advertise, like, all the dentist offices, like, real big yeah, outside. It's just like, yeah. IV sedation! Okay, I'm like, what the mm. fuck, man? That's not yeah. what I'm going there for. Uh, in Mexico, you can get offered hookers, We had this thing, joke? <laughs> oh, hey, my God. Life, what? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? Dude, we're on that same really wavelength, good. dude. <laughs> a better name for dandruff. Shoulder salt, frosted flakes, mangruff, seasoning, Daniel D. Ruff or Dan D. Ruff. 
amazing. Oh, God, that's really good. Now you know the real reason why Dan wears a red shirt, not a black shirt. Dude, hear me out, though. Laser eye surgery. Yeah. Some fucking wild shit that we just, like, shoot lasers into people's eyes mm. to make them see. It feels they like a sick it. technology. It's it's crazy shit, it man. Great feedback. I, I can't wait it was for the crazy. reverse. I thought it was crazy enough that we could just put fucking weird shaped glass in front of our yeah. eyes and see. That's yeah. fucking wild enough, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude, it must have I sucked to have bad eyes in like the 1700s. Like that, it was just called being dead. I think. Well, like, I mean, the, the yeah. Ben Franklin he's wearing glasses, but you know they're not a perfect fit for his prescription. Oh. Probably like one day he just like forged his own pair of glasses and then he wore them every day for the rest of his life. Glasses are pretty old too, right? Like that's a pretty old technology, I think. Mm. Let me see. It's just a lens, well, right? I mean, like. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, you'd have to. Just like. Fuck with it. Benjamin Franklin did not invent glasses. He invented <laughs> bifocals. Oh. I blame the awesome. fact that you and I both went for that, Austin, on like stupid shit like oh, Justin William. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. Lasonathan. Lasonathan is my favorite. <laughs> So, oh, oh, it, oh, Lasonathan Ishmael, that's the name. Yeah. Lasonathan Ishmael. <laughs> My alter ego. It's really hard to play Quiplash <laughs> and play. Come on, have get serious. We're trying yeah. To oh, yeah. Here. You know, we make it work. <laughs> you know what game is really easy to play and have a conversation? Auto chess. Chess is really nice. Dude, that game is good. Go. I've been playing it in bed and then I keep playing it in my sleep. Yeah, people I was awesome. also doing that. I actually, pretty, my hypothesis is that the Tetris effect is actually like your brain literally just practicing so when you wake up you know better where the pieces fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched this guy. Ah, woo, yeah. Is that what mm -hmm. it is? Yeah. Woo, woo. It's just like, fuck that guy, man. Yeah, no, he, he had like 28 <laughs> wins in a row. One well, ball, he, tries to like, he tries to like fuck with people at the end. Yeah. He just like builds up a ton and then like sometimes he loses in his chat's like, greed, greed, greed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause the dude just like, it's just like, they the, the pieces never spend any time at the top. They're just like, teaspoon, 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 teaspoon. Yeah, he's really, <laughs> I mean, he's like insanely good. Square uh, block. Would you yeah. say hi, teaspoon? All right, thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I basically give up on winning whenever I hear that like, the teaspoon sound from somebody else on the board. <laughs> I, I su like when I just hear like bling 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 and my controller vibrates I'm like you know I could probably like if I play really well I might have a chance to get down with this dude and then uh, I hear like Rip! and then 18 lines appear on the left of my screen and I go you know what <laughs> you got no life you fucking loser <laughs> <laughs> One. I love I, that I, the game like, plays a little sound and he kills someone. Yeah! <laughs> Bring them all all. Fine. Yeah, that's a okay, KO. The, but the game also, like, you'll just be playing, like, it's suddenly you get, like, 14 people attacking you and yeah. then you just die. No, but then you switch and to like, attackers I don't know why that and every you line attackers of attackers garbage you send sends 14 lines of garbage into the world. Dude, I got, oh, I last night, we were, like, I literally got sent off the screen in, like, two seconds. <laughs> It was just like, I was like, what the I fuck just, just happened? That moment when you hit God and he retaliates is yeah. just, <laughs> you, you know that yeah. you deserved it. That's you know, when you, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to send one line to this guy. and then Immediately you change <laughs> whoever you're targeting and you go, I'm sorry, sir. Please allow me to live a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, next one. I just want to be able to touch the specific people. Game would be blank, Wait, what? Blank hippos. Excuse me? Yeah, we call it a Wyatt Earp. When you uh, you take a warning shot at somebody and they respond with a fucking nuclear arsenal. <laughs> you, get, you go, I'm sorry, Wyatt. <laughs> Sally well, like, also works. Oh, oh my god. I love god. the setup. These answers. Where you can get like two back-to-back -back Tetrises. You just wait for someone to send you anything and you're like, oh really? Just... <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then just destroy them and 10 seconds later you hear KO. Actually, I know this is now insular Tetris 99 discussion, but uh, I love, I've come to love when you actually get randomly targeted by like at least six or seven people at the start of the game. Because there's yeah. nothing like just putting it on attackers and then just making lines. You, here's the thing, if you take any random seven people at Tetris, like four of them are gonna blow really badly. It's basically just free KOs. Why would they play it then? Dude, I don't know. The best thing about being really dumb, you get to stop playing auto chess first or whoa. <laughs> Got him.
By the way, if you're curious about Yikes. the glasses thing, precursors uh, seem to be around the early 1200s. Mm. Yeah, they were like pince nez back then. Yeah, there's like apparently Roman and Greek accounts of Nero using an emerald to see better. And then in like the fort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, yeah. yeah. It works, but like, the world's very green. Was he watching the hundreds or something? They like. Crazy out my, my joke. Sorry, you please go ahead. <laughs> nah, I was gonna say the fourteen hundreds. They started using Oakleys. It's not funny anymore. Like. It's not well, when was like the the camera and like the telescope and all that shit? A on fire dress. Yeah. A pus that's dress. a pus dress, probably. Oh, that's <laughs> a pus. I mean, that's not pus. Yeah. That's not what it says. It says pus. It does say pus. Yeah. Pus oh, is P U S. P U S. That's right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> That's a puss dress. Didn't you wear one already? Nah, that was just a bunch of hanging meat. Oh, I know, yeah. it looked very similar, but... but... You wore a dress that looked like a... <laughs> a puss? God damn it. Next up. I don't keep up with Lady Gaga fashion. This is a prompt from like 2012. <laughs> A ridiculous government agency that no one knows about. The Department of Truth or the Department of Apartments? <laughs> it's definitely, I think, been made before on this promise, but I'm still going to vote for it. That's something I wish I could delete from my Google history. Everything? What? Oh, I just like a pussy dress? Yeah. Oh, I saw some things I didn't know were on the internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know... It's gonna be really nice when the cops put that right next to your googling of uh, Apex Legends Rule 34 that you did the other <laughs> night. <laughs> they're they're gonna use that to paint a tale of a, a man's sordid descent into madness. <laughs> oh man, but those shots of uh, gang banging Pathfinder. Mm. Gotta fuck that robot. Oh yeah. Hot oh, shit, baby. Extremely thick. <laughs> I looked up Aqua from Kingdom Hearts and was very sad. What is Aqua Kingdom from Hearts. Kingdom Hearts? She is a female Kingdom Hearts character. <laughs> and, uh, so I like a human being? Google imaged her and she was getting gangbanged in all sorts of ways. It was There's a like disappointing. The well, goof goof. Don't take this as king shame. <laughs> but there is like that weird age where I feel like young men just I'm just being very delicate here you know they just add intercourse to every single one of their hobbies yeah yeah like you could not shake a stick That's on certain cool. websites in the, <laughs> in the year 2003 without seeing like Lois Griffin getting a face full of cum yeah. <laughs> or like Lisa Simpson, like She's sucking a popular. dick. I have Dude, no yeah, idea the, why. You can see that but... one in 2012. Yeah. The male mind is just terrible. Like it's, it's just hard, some it's some wires hard. get crossed like right around puberty, and most people sort it out. Not on the internet, <laughs> when but when you're not you know, turned to lemons. <laughs> no, <excuse laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that, like, yesterday I was telling people to put the picture of that severed dick on the subreddit. Yes. You were! <laughs> yeah! Then when I went to the subreddit, there were, like, nine posts that were, like, people... It's just, like, a picture of a thumb or, like, a half-eaten banana and stuff I like that. banana one. Yeah. yeah. And then a mod had made a post that was, like, don't fucking post it. <laughs> there was, like, uh, 25 posts that were, like, don't post it. Well, when I went to the circle jerk and I saw the whole front page was all not safe for work tagged, it's suddenly like I'm on that 50-50 subreddit. Like, am I going to see a separate dick or am I going to see something that looks kind of like... It's this thing called Starting restraint. You just don't have to click on any of them. <laughs> yeah. A TMZ headline you really want to see. Okay, Everyone famous is dead or we got pictures <laughs> of Brad Pitt's butthole. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty messed up, dude. What's yeah, the threshold? I wild. knew. It yeah, was right. Too. Yeah, I'm just wondering. You know, just, just curious. All I know is I'm not famous. So that was a close good one. A good use for toenail clippings. clippings. Oh, oh no. Putting them in Brad Pitt's butthole or <laughs> <laughs> or refill your beanbag chair. You're so lucky oh. those were back to back. You yeah. <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Dude, there that is... would not have worked otherwise. Everyone is famous is that's famous is dead would make a great sketch. 
where like a bunch of like aspiring actors get together, but then one of them isn't there, and they're like, "Well, wow. oh, they took Dave, huh? That's cool." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, he's he's good. He's been putting in work. No, you know, I you know, but, they, but I was Dave gonna die though? too, but I just chose not to. You know? Yeah, I, just chose not to. <laughs> I mean, Dave, like you know, he took some opportunities that I wouldn't have, so. But like, <laughs> you know, good for him. A really bad superhero power. The power to inflate your nut singular, or the ability to solve sixth grade algebra instantly. Is that like saying Sorcerer Supreme, if you say nut singular? <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be in brackets that did not show. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am the nut singular. If you didn't inflate your screen. nut, would it make you float or sink faster? Depends on what you're inflating it with. Yeah. Also, what? <laughs> yeah, it depends on the density you... of the medium cobalt. Are you thinking about doing that before you go I camping? Just in case. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's emergency flotation device. Yeah. Emergency raft in my sack. <laughs> a poor substitute for a necktie. A newt necklace or a galaxy? That's a newt necklace? It's a, it's a pearl necklace? It's a yeah. big newt. It's like the it's like the the tier just below Omega. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> awesome! I cooked uh, two nights ago. Yes. Guess what seasoning was? Oh, now that I've said it, I think you have a pretty I good guess. I can't yeah. imagine <laughs> what seasoning. <laughs> it's like the enduring up. legacy is that anytime I cook and I read a step and it goes like, add the nutmeg, I go, hey, hey, hey. And next <laughs> 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 Yo, that, was good, that was a good lizard laugh, yeah. post the hey, 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 lizard. <laughs> Please. Ryan, I went to uh, uh, Swiss, Swiss Chalet. Dude, where? First time Did ever? you leave the province? <laughs> no, there's one in, in Burnaby. Oh. It's like, it's like right on Boundary Road. Dude. What the fuck is that dipping sauce? I like it, but I grew up in Ontario. It's fucking gross, man. It's like <laughs> dipping it in pumpkin pie. Yeah, some Wait, people what? think it takes it tastes like dishwater or you know like. So <laughs> what is the dipping sauce? So it's just it's like a chicken au jus, but like with spices and seasonings mixed up. I I but will it's never like defend it. And allspice or something. It is, oh. it is fucking weird, man. It, it's like just it. for me. It's just like it's warm, delicious juice, but. I think if you didn't grow up eating it the first time you try it, you're gonna be like, "This is tar." <laughs> also, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we like ordered food and it was like, it wasn't cheap. Yeah, it wasn't expensive. It's surprisingly like, expensive for it not being good. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I got the chicken. I'm eating it. I'm like, What's the difference? <laughs> I was like, "This is all right," but it's, <laughs> but it, it just tastes like Costco. Yeah, and it's like twice the price for half the chicken. Swiss LA is essentially like. <laughs> The same price as Nando's, a very similar kind of feature set, and substantially worse. I think it's more than Nando's. It might be more than Nando's. And the spiciest thing you can get there is like a, a roll of white bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's very white people food. It, it, dude, I mean, I'm not trying to bring race into it, that was you. I just want to make that clear. <laughs> but I will say, whenever like we have a special occasion and my grandma chooses the restaurant, she picks Swiss Chalet every time. Round two is now also, what's Swiss about it? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> or sh like Chalet? Like, I don't know. It's, it's actually a uh, Swiss yeah. Chalet. I do yeah. like the fries, though. They probably have what good poutine. They, they do, actually. And gravy were good. And, like, decent pierogies. It's just a fucking weird restaurant. <laughs> I wish we had some good poot around here. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You are married, sir. <laughs> I don't want to write cum. <laughs> well, too late. <laughs> Commit. <laughs> hey, get it. Hey, yo. Dude, I still want to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Dude, they Just have one here. The Cheesecake Factory okay. is actually... I'll go to Bradford as far as, like, safe chain oh, family restaurants. The, the only <laughs> thing is, I was stunned. And I, stop me if you heard this one before. I was stunned to see that every single dish on the menu has over 1,800 calories in it. They have a skinny mini. Yeah, yeah where everything has like, like 800 1400. or 1,000. Dude, <laughs> go look at the fucking BJ's menu. Like, like it's every. Now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the menu is too big. Every it makes the quality suffer of their There's food. There's too much shit. Yeah, I went there yeah. for the first time recently, and it was okay. The burgers are good. The pizza's good. One time we got dirty silverware and dirty water glasses. 
Mm. So that they... kind of turned me off a little bit. Were they water spots or is it like dirty, dirty? Oh, uh, the water spots. Yeah, I uh, count right. it. Fair enough. <clears throat> Cheesecake Factory always gives you polished our silverware at my old restaurant. Mm. It's like twenty five dollars a plate. Yeah, but you get seven people's amount of food. Yes. You know, like why can't I just get one person's amount of food for? Well, uh, so the reason that I even brought it up is because I want to find out how the fuck Vince Young spent his millions of dollars at cheese at the Dude, Cheesecake. Factory. I used to laugh at it. And then, like, when I went to the Cheesecake Factory and dinner for me and Kate was, like, 90 bucks, I was like, all right. <laughs> Makes sense. 90 it, bucks for two people? Yeah. There, was, like, there may have been a... Well, okay. We did buy a cheesecake as well. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cheesecake's probably, what, like, 30-some bucks? Yeah, something like probably, that. Probably, yeah. And then I was like, Still yeah, if you bought bucks. the meal for, like, you know, if you bought a 50 people's meals, as I imagine he did, and then threw on like a 20 grand tip. I could totally see how you could spend 50 grand at the Cheesecake Factory. I mean, you have to be a real dumbass, but like, it's not like a Brewster's Million situation where I'm like, hey, there's no conceivable way. Yeah. Also, from my memory, That's all. the Cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory scores. is just okay. Yeah, we didn't eat any of it. We That's gave the it best really. Part. Well, we bought it as a gift because our friend's daughter was turning six. So like you got a cheesecake? It yeah. You said that like as if you could have eaten some of it, but well, we weren't <laughs> there. Have. That we was a gift. We weren't there at the moment of the cake's consumption because we had to fly out oh, like later Josh, that day. Speaking of flying, I mean, yeah. and, like, he says cups for Rob. Like Rob lives in like the the epicenter of cheesecake. That's fair. That's the true, yeah, that is. On planet Earth. There are a lot of... But there's got to be, like, a cheesecake, cheesecake factory go. within, like, three blocks of Times Square that has, like, a thousand yeah. seats in it. No, there is... There, there, uh, so, the, another reason I brought it up is because I saw it appear on uh, on my Postmates. And I was mm. like, hmm, maybe I want to check this Postmates. out. You know? yeah. Can I... I have the... I've just come up with the most elegant insult for the Cheesecake Factory. Okay. It's the kind of restaurant that people from the country go to the big city to eat at. Wait, no, it gets better. <laughs> you know, I like wait, people will, like travel to. I eat. get the line. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out. You know what I mean there? Where like your yeah, mom I'm from it. Canton would be like, hey, we can go into the city this weekend and eat at the Cheesecake Factory. It's like uh, people in a small town going to Outback Steakhouse and being like, oh, I love trying other cultures' foods. Okay, well, that's just <laughs> <laughs> Foster's. That's, that's damn racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, my my dad worked in like North Jersey for his entire career, and he, like, one year he went to New York City and he brought back this massive cheesecake. It probably weighed like fifteen pounds, right? It was like nice. three inches, th four inches high of cheesecake covered in like berries. Oh, shit was incredible. That it does sound so delicious. Good. But at least each uh, slice was probably a billion calories. She makes this holiday cheesecake. It's got like a caramel drizzle, pecan crust in its crust, and like a Ooh. it's like a sour cream, like thin, thin layer of sour cream, like something on the top. It's mm -hmm. actually like really good. Sour Might cream have been, like, such an mascarpone name for sour yeah, cream. Shit, dude, I know, right? it's better than clotted cream. Ugh. Yeah, also, that one. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh no. This the worst thing about being a billionaire. Freaking Cheesecake Factory or caring whether or not people like you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, did Justin get this one? Because this feels like an Austin answer on the right. Justin would have gone way That's hard. what yeah, I was he thinking. Been yeah, like, I really, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you the worst thing about being all. a billionaire is being eaten. <laughs> what, like some kind of freaking socialist? <laughs> No, you just a, a, a stupid idiot with a tiny brain. I hope we pick this up. I hope <laughs> Justin was in on this one. I <laughs> 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 won. Was right all along. Oh no, they tied. Wow. Motherfucker. They tied. That's a wild one. Next in line. God damn it. You know, you know you're in a very weird fast food restaurant when the cashier asks, "Do you want blank with that?" I don't know. Do you want poon with that or do you want insurance with that? <laughs> <laughs> I like insurance and it's not even my answer. I like Poon. <laughs> I had like a meal that was like 1900 calories, but I was like, at least it tastes okay. Yeah, it's fine. The only other, it, it, I don't know why it's like unhealthy 
restaurants in America that print their calorie counts. But the only other time I have experience with that was at an airport Chili's where it was like, hey, it's like 2,100 calories. And then when I ate it, I was like, this is trash. <laughs> this is like what nearly you, inedible. I was in the Oakland airport, dude. I don't know what else to eat at the Oakland airport. You got no, any well, recommendations? <laughs> well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, what, what did you order that was 2,100 calories? I don't know. Calories? You know, some combination of like the shocking chicken poppers you know they're they're not quite chicken <laughs> tenders they're not quite chicken nuggets <laughs> we we presented a meal that looks like other food but is actually 100 percent a mold of butter <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a chicken crispers <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know how you fit 2100 calories into a single meal I honestly oh, that's that's easy, my friend. At the Cheesecake Factory, I figured it out pretty quick that the Cuban sandwich is a whole loaf of bread and then both sides of it have mayonnaise on it. Okay, yeah, that is pretty That combined with everything. Else. Also, do not put mayo on a Cubano. That's all I'm saying. And now, hey. think good. <laughs> so, like, it's a, it like, is a mustard try, sandwich. Try our new fusion, you know, Asian burger. It's got teriyaki on yeah. it. <laughs> Soy sauce only, and a pineapple slice. Yeah. It's fusion. I only like mayo if I don't know it's there. I'm actually with you on that one. Like, I want it to be so subtle, and it just got this jiggle to it. I don't know what it is. You can jiggle it in the jar like jello, and I'm not about it. Dude, Siblings Day is so apt that it's not even funny it's just like <laughs> i just hope nobody from hallmark is watching <laughs> they'd be like hey there's nothing in you know january <laughs> january 23rd siblings day i guarantee that day specifically has to exist already <laughs> right yeah they got, it's I got it tune chat come on i was gonna do white day but then i was like i already <laughs> oh my god i don't think it's, it's well, no it's actually it's a, thing a real in thing Asia. yeah <laughs> yeah wait what it's you a guys versus valentine's day <laughs> you quiplashed on poop are plans. you fucking wow. kidding me <laughs> <laughs> what was the here. prompt? <laughs> Add poop to it to a famous. <laughs> oh my god! Look well, it, if it helps, I was I did immediately regret my decisions and decision and wanted to go back and write friends poop. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which that would have been, been really good, good if they yeah. brought <laughs> one friends. Oh, I can't make that joke on this show. <laughs> <laughs> it means you. If you can't make a joke on this show, you probably should never make the joke publicly. Bad, yeah, know? seriously. <laughs> it maybe crosses. It crosses a few lines. I'm not gonna do that. I like to imagine you have the same prompt as me, but found a way to like make it really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how's the, the happiest thing in your life? <laughs> Did that Isaac episode come out where I talk about Valentine's Day and White Day? I, I always think it it says something about the culture of of Japan and Korea versus America. That like in North America, or let's start with Asia, you know, they have Valentine's Day, which is focused primarily around giving gifts to the female in the relationship. And then no, the month, see, that's not true. Look, I'm building a bit here. It does, nobody cares at the end of the day, as long as they laugh at the end. Okay. Then like the, a month later, they have White Day where the roles are reversed. What we've done in North America is we have Valentine's Day on February 14th. And then people were like, that's not fair. March 14th, steak and blowjob day. Uh, can we, do we have to do this whole, like, I like Valentine's Day as it is. I don't need another day that's like, I'm going to go shoot a gun and eat a ribeye and suck my dick. <laughs> I'm a man. I hate romance. Yeah, I bought you chocolate a month ago. In, in Japan, on Valentine's Day, the women buy men presents, oh. right? Mm -hmm. And basically... About damn time. It's... No, it's it's so weird. So, like, if you're a guy... To be equal... And then do they no, you buy get white like, you get, like, presents from multiple day? women. On White Day, you choose who to respond to. Oh. You, like, you choose who to reciprocate to. It's this weird, like... <laughs> I don't... It, like passive aggressive dating strategy it's so strange that is very weird we get it you're a liberal i heard that if i went uh, 
to Asia, I would have really good chances because most of the males aren't interested in women, is what I heard now. <laughs> when you describe them as most of the males, it's like you're talking about... That's what I was told! <laughs> like, we're talking about, I like, you know, biology of, like, an alien species. <laughs> Some... That's what I was told! <laughs> There's a lot of misconceptions. <laughs> they were like, oh yeah. It was just a really bad way to phrase that, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bad way. I know. I was just I stating a fa oh, not a fact, but an opinion. That I, I will heard. say, when I lived in Asia, my friend who looked nothing like Nicolas Cage, every time he met like young <laughs> Korean women, they were like, Nicolas Cagey. And he's like, yeah, Nicolas Cagey. And then for me, they would try to describe that. I don't look like anybody, but when I laugh, I kind of sound like Seth Rogen. And I'd be like, <laughs> I'd pull up a picture and be like, this guy? And they're like, ah, oh, yeah. And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what I heard was that their birth weight rate was way down. Is what I heard. <laughs> their, their birth weight rate? <laughs> <laughs> their birth, their birth. <laughs> Oh, I the said games are at it again, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I learned Japan. Well, there's what's the what's the name of the thing? It's called where... a penis. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> I know I'm right, so fuck all you haters. <laughs> what's the thing in Japan where it's got a name where where it's like they like the canines, the canine teeth. Being oh, uh, weird. Uh, yeah. I think. Yabai? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, isn't a that a Genghis Khan it. thing you said? <laughs> no, no, it's a different thing. Did I miss uh, a lesson? No, they have the, they're, they're the, the canine oh, teeth like stick out. They, yeah. Like, they protrude slightly. They think and it's, it's, got, it's got like a name for because, yeah, because yeah. they think it's very cute. Like, if you ever watch anime and you see that like one character has like that little tooth in their mouth. That's the only tooth that they show is a little Isn't triangle it? tooth. No. That's, okay. that's that thing. He yeah. is from yeah. Game of Thrones. Little tooth. <laughs> they really, they really loved Jewel. Mmm. Country singer. <laughs> See, uh, Justin. <laughs> She's adult contemporary. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she might be classic rock now. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, wouldn't, Quip them. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> King what King Kong is most self-conscious about. about? Flashing the b-hole to a helicopter or his giant hairy monkey nuts? <laughs> oh, well, they're right next door. <laughs> he's, he's actually a beep. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's called Yaeba. Yeah. So there you go. Yaeba, I bet to you. Now that's a game, dude. Uh, hell oh, yeah. yeah. Civ yeah. 4, dude. Baba, yeah. Last good civilization. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Who are you? Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. <laughs> to yeah, babe. Baba, yeah. Oh, that was close. Baba, yeah. That's the other thing. I was, I was watching that Flat Earth documentary. Mm. And I was like, the dude's driving. And he's had this, this is the dude who was doing the hammer thing. He also did like all the states while he was doing it. He was like, Alabama, Arkansas, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so he's driving and he's like, hey, well, I'm driving down the hallway. Let me, or driving down the highway, I should say. Let me, uh, he wasn't that smart. Let me get you, uh, I got like a hundred books in the back of my car. Let me show you some of these books. So he pulls out like, you know, some Ayn Rand and he's like, that's a good one. He pulls out 1984 and he's like, this one, George Orwell, 1984. You heard of this? Must read. And I'm like, all right. I mean, that's a good book. Like, a holy Bible. I kind of think you kind of missed the point of it, but you know. And then, um, then right after 1984, he pulls out like this paperback that was written by somebody who is like they put doctor in front of their name, but it was like in quotation marks. And he's, it's like you know, on the subject of the flatness of Earth. And he's like, this one, oh, really opened my eyes. I was like, God, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> written by Doctor like... Plain. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make like the most clutch Stephen Hawking joke ever in the middle of that? Part of my career. Oh no! You said, you said driving down the hallway. driving down the hallway, and then you said he's not that smart. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was fucking amazing, and it was accidental, and I was I was hoping it was intentional, but oh, that's a great joke. Right. If you oh, it was so good, but it's like a little bit of magic's gone oh, since it was. Oh too wow. soon. Should have just meant it. A great place yeah. to hide an Easter egg in Brad Pitt's butthole. Brad Pitt's dead right. bee hole in Santa's sack on a famous streamer's shoulders. Swallow it. They ain't getting shit today. Or my ass. Yeah, there had to be an ass one. My ass. It's actually yeah. my ass. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
to you. I had a Santa what sack. They're not finding that for months. Yeah, what is this? What is this? How do, Brad Pitt's butthole. By the way. Oh, it's a cold. No, no. It just kind of went that way. I know all of you were gonna put it up someone's ass. Yeah, what if the last one was written by Brad Pitt? <laughs> well, the 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 two last ones. <laughs> All right, semi-serious question: What the fuck does the world do about flat Earth and anti-vax people? Flat Wait, Earth at least vaccination. Is. <laughs> I hate to say it, dude, but like, at, flat Earth is relatively harmless at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I guess it's just stupid. <laughs> like, it's, it, it's just it aggressively dumb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The thing is, if you discount the fact that the Earth is round, it like cuts out like ninety percent of the rest of science, though. Too. I don't think that's really a concern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I guess you're <laughs> right. that's a fair point. The, Chat, the so anti-vaxxers don't just hurt themselves. Yes, yeah, like anti-vaxxers hurt, hurt even vaccinated people and other people who can't get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. well, weakens herd immunity, right? Herd immunity, yeah. look it up, sweetheart. I guess this is a real question. I am like 50-50, it could go either way. Do anti-vaxxers wash their hands? Oh. Well, did you hear that fucking Fox News guy? Who oh, did. Like, washing your hands is a myth. <laughs> I haven't done it in 12 years. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> but Look at all do that you think those dude. things are equatable, Ryan? Well, I just think that, like, some of it is, you know, I think that this will cause, uh, getting a vaccine will cause a disease. But I've also heard some that's, like, just, like, grade school dime store biology where they're like well if i don't get a disease i'm gonna be weaker and i want to be strong so oh, you know okay. I, I feel like those would be the people that are like i don't wash my hands because like yeah. you know and if you catch a I disease off of fingers to clean them if you Dude. catch a disease off of my hands and you die well sorry sweetie it's called evolution look it up sweetheart <laughs> See, but that's that's kind of the worst part of the anti-vax thing. I mean, besides the bringing back like draconian, uh, you know, diseases. But like the the anti-vax thing is because they don't want their kids to have autism, yeah. as if that like it kills them or something. I'm not like, even is touching it, that like, one because it's. I mean, yeah, it's I founded just, on yeah. false principles to begin with. That's yep. the thing. That's just like so ridiculous, you know. Of the whole but, thing. but I wasn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't make I, a decision I, not to I, vaccinate I sure, my kid. Though. I was so right. just on the fence until they got measles. Yeah, and then I took him to a foreign country, and you know, then <laughs> yeah. inoculated all of British Columbia. It's just insane, man. Not me, dude. I got my vaccine. <laughs> Did you get your vaccine, Corey? <laughs> I mean, when I was like, 15, yeah, but you're you're good for life. I don't know the MMR. I don't know when the last time. I probably need new jabs, actually. I probably I need a been... booster or something. Dude, yeah. they're probably good for it. They, don't they, like, bootstrap your body? They give you a they give you a jolt, and then your body's like, I'll keep making these. For, like, the main ones, yeah. I don't think my body's making anything. <laughs> yeah, we're just Shit. trying to preserve what we have for as long <laughs> as possible. Fair enough. Gave up on hair a while ago, and then... And why don't we take some time to pick our channels? <laughs> Start with uh, Justin. No. All right, start with Corey. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Corey, twitch.tv forward slash black blag. How about you, Justin? All right. How about you? <laughs> How about you, Austin? Are we playing games after this, Justin? Or is this up in the air? It's, it's My man's gone. He's gone. <laughs> out i'm gonna do an oot randomizer run uh, what if you do. get the master sword in your first chest <laughs> i was legitimately gonna answer that and then i remembered that you made that same joke yesterday <laughs> ryan you ever read a menu in I'm a korean korean restaurant and they were trying to explain the korean food to you but you already <laughs> oh no answer. don't you dare <laughs> <laughs> You ever been to Korean restaurants lately? <laughs> uh, how about you, Cobalt? Hello. I'm here on Thursdays, baby. Thanks for having me. Yeah, babe. Yeah, babe. Baba, yeah. yeah. How about Baba. you, uh, Justin? Hey. <laughs> it worked. He's muted. He muted. <laughs> <laughs> So confused. It was a good effort. Well, 
<laughs> How about you, Robert? I'll pack a patrol to do movie night every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you should also watch Austin's birthday stream on Saturday. But I am also going to be doing movie night on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But watch Austin as well. Why is it called movie 21? night when you do it during the day? Because it's always 5 o'clock somewhere, mm. baby. <laughs> How about you? You've been Justin. asked that before. Oh, literally every time I do movie night, yeah. <laughs> if you had to drink one of us, Justin, who would it be? Oh, man. I'd, I'd probably want like a tall glass of Corey. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be really Austin. disappointed. <laughs> we are doing something? <laughs> doing something. Let's do something. We'll do something. You, right. have to find, you have to come watch. You want to find out, and I'm going to tell you. No, we'll get out of here. You're the competition. Super. I got to mute you. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Well, I got to bow to you, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Just take some of your thousands of viewers and just look at it. <laughs> Yeah, but the threshold is higher too, you know. <laughs> I get. Don't worry, we ain't hurting you. We they, we played auto chess today. They fucking hate me right now. Uh, You're fine. I well, would I would host you if I wasn't gonna keep streaming for sure. I understand, but I need to silence all of you because. <laughs> Good night. Gotta get gotta get the bag. I'm not really gonna hang up. I'm just gonna use my admin powers to kick out everybody but Corey. Oh, okay. That seems fair. <laughs> I kind of want to wait for that well, to happen. I'm not going to disconnect. You have to do it. I'm yeah. Not. Catch him, man. <laughs> He's done it. I can't kick them out. All I can do is... All hey, I Justin, can look at Justin. Up. He's moving around really quick. You can't catch him. <laughs> Dude, he's unhittable. You can't catch him. <laughs> I'm back. I can't... If I <laughs> kick, it kicks you out of the server, so I can't. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, you can yeah. you can server deafen and mute them, though. I could server deafen and mute them. Oh, no, I don't want that. that yeah. <laughs> <laughs>